This, in English, is called a pineapple. Quite a strange name, since it looks nothing like an apple. But pineapple is an even stranger name, if you think about this. While we call it a pineapple in English, countless other languages across continents and language families seem to have a common name for it. Ananas, or something along those lines. Making English the glaring outlier. So, in this video, I'll explain why the pineapple is called a pineapple. A key reason why there is such striking uniformity in world languages, except English, in the name of the pineapple, is that, until recently, pineapples only grew in one part of the world. They originated in South America, around South Brazil and Paraguay. By the time when Christopher Columbus reached the Caribbean in 1493, pineapples had spread across the Americas, and he encountered them in Guadeloupe. As contact between Europe and the Americas increased, pineapples were imported into Europe and Asia, primarily by the Portuguese. The Portuguese word for pineapple was ananas, which they adopted from a Tupian language. The Tupian languages are a group of languages indigenous to South America. Since Portuguese speakers introduced the pineapple to Europe and Asia, many European and Asian languages simply kept the Portuguese word ananas, or something like it, as their word for pineapple. So what about English? How did it end up with the word pineapple? Well, let's compare English to some other languages to understand what happened. When Portuguese speakers first encountered this fruit, they had no word for it. So they took their word for it from what they heard it called in another language, a Tupian language such as Old Tupi. Similarly, when Urdu speakers first encountered the fruit and had no word for it, they took their word for it from what they heard it called in Portuguese. But when English speakers first encountered this fruit, which they had no word for, they took a different approach. Instead of creating a new word to describe this fruit, they just used a word that already existed in the English vocabulary, the word pineapple. That's right, the English word pineapple existed before English speakers had ever seen one of these. What it meant back then was pinecone. You see, in the past, the English word apple didn't simply refer to this fruit. It could refer more generally to the produce of a tree, whether a fruit or a vegetable, or something else. So, the roughly apple-sized fruit of a pine tree, which we call a pinecone today, was called a pineapple. It was the apple or fruit of a pine tree. But then this fruit from South America came along, which looked in some ways similar to it. So English speakers called this fruit a pineapple too. Eventually, the word pinecone came about to differentiate the two. English wasn't the only language to do something like this. In Spanish, pineapples have the name piña or ananas, depending on location. While European Spanish speakers mostly use piña, which, like English, comes from comparison to pine cones, speakers in parts of Latin America use the word ananas. When speakers of a language encounter something new or different they need to describe, they may look for a new word from an external source, or they may use a word already in their vocabulary to describe it. In the case of pineapple, it seemed that in most places, it was the first approach which caught on. Languages take different approaches with different words, and as they change over time and pass through to other languages, the fascinating variation between languages which we observe in the world is produced. This is illustrated nicely by one final example, the word for pineapple in Japanese. Japanese didn't use a word they already had to describe the fruit. They used a new word, which they heard speakers of another language using. 
But this other language wasn't Portuguese, or another language which calls the pineapple ananas. It was English, giving the Japanese word pineapple. The names of food are often really interesting from a linguistic perspective. You can check out my other videos about food here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the word pineapple. Was there anything that surprised you? Leave a comment. While you're here, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get another video from Philologism every week.